Golly, I hope it is. I want to keep that up in case it shows that we killed him. Like, it's just lining up the nuke. It takes a second to charge. Understandable. It's dropping an immense amount of energy right now. Come on. Kick his ass. You can do it. Oh, the intensity. There he goes. Oh, it's a horrible miss. Good God. What is going on, guys? Ryan here playing Ark Survival Evolved here on the Scorched Earth map. Just checking out this mod that's been, like, at the top of the mod page for, like, the last few days. I just finally take, took, finally took a look at it. Fucking tongue twister right there. And it's, like, the most amazing UFO ever. Like, I thought it was just some silly little disc because I've done a mod review on UFOs before. But, like, I just been, like, two other UFO mods, and they were cool, but generally kind of retarded as far as gameplay went it was fun to look at and play with for a second but you can't really use it in a survival series but this thing this thing just blows everything out of the water i can't even go kill dragons with it in five seconds some shiz straight out of independence day right here we're gonna go ahead and name it becky oh i should have left it as ufo nah i don't know becky's like the next best thing so here it is right here straight it has little tractor claws that come down there here's where like missiles are launched off it's like there's there if you left click there's the primary weapon right click is the heavy weapon and then c is like a nuclear weapon you straight up just it's the, it's the craziest thing ever this is like the coolest shit usually i wouldn't even do a video with just one mod i would throw a few in here at least unless it's a bunch of creatures just to at least make it full of content but this sucker the center opens up and a beam comes out this, this shit is crazy sorry i'm a little mind blown by it but it's it's completely understandable so here we go there's like the straight up movements behind it. Yeah, that's like some stuff straight out of Independence Day right there. Clean as a whistle too. Like it, like the movements, the swerving, it's nothing, nothing's buggy at all. If it's buggy, it's because there's a bunch of creatures over spawning that I keep deleting. Because I should have had a few other mods not in here. Look at that, the landing though. Just pop out that landing gear and float downward. Then you have a little bubble shield around you as you land just for safety. I wonder if we could fire while we're sitting. Cannot fire while you're sitting, probably for the best. Look at this thing gonna haul ass too. I wonder if you could up the uh, the movement speed. No, you can get clean across the map in a matter of seconds though, like under a minute. You really don't need to even fly faster than that ever. This is this is the fastest you will ever need to fly. Where the hell is the land? Is it we're flying too fast? We don't even take damage upon hitting the ground going in going in hot. Yeah, if anything, it flies too fast. To make up a game lag. I need to take some mods out for shizzle. Now, as far as weaponry goes, like I said, you have your left click. Oh my god, straight up flight deck command center. Pretty creepy in here, super alienific. I'm with it. Look at that weapon. That's just our freaking primary, like, heavy. We can, like, spray that one out, straight up spam it. Does so much damage. How does it not kill that guy yet, though? What's that? Oh, it backs up perfectly. Are we reloading, or what's going on there? Dude, it, it shoots downwards so well, like, there's no... It just handles gravity perfectly at every little angle. There we go. Now that we're finally hitting him, he gets his ass kicked. So that's the left click primary weapon. Donde está someone else? I'm gonna hit you with the heavy. Oh, I recognize that boulder. That is a shady boulder right there. Yep, just as I thought. And here goes, actually, it would appear that left and right click are just the phasers on both sides. And that they would just be equal. So what we're looking to bomb this guy with, yeah, because now they have to go through the little reload time. Becky has leveled up. Oh, Becky can only be increasing oxygen and food, though. I was hoping for movement speed, but then again, you really don't need it to be faster. This thing is ridiculously fast. That's like crash your game fast right there. Now, where... where to go? I feel like he's right under me. We, you really could fly around so well. This weapon barely even hurts you up close is a little bit looks like as he hurts us though our shield comes up god this this ship thought of everything like ridiculous <sighs> want to see what this thing requires right here it's a like, use for do spawn a ufo don't buy the engram ufo is actually uncraftable for have a ufo use commands might be might be english second language which is still pretty damn amazing i can't speak anything at all as a second language requires engrams clever pack devour hunter immune massive and sky lord strong what in the shizzle are those things Confusing. Confusing is what those are. I feel like I should be more equipped to know things, or... I don't know, Skylord Strong just sounds like a good name, if anything. Alright, so there you have it. As far as now, if you want to use the UFO, you just have to spawn it in. There is no crafting it, so that part kind of sucks, but... Because, I mean, whoever has this thing is instantly going to dominate the world. It's ridiculous. You just got to be kind of a dead shot with this with these lasers because it does kind of stall out if you don't kill things quick. Holy crap balls! 
Look at that. The freaking shield protects from your fire, you primitive monkey banging douchebag. So happens when aliens come to town, sucker. Alright, it's just he's kind of hard to hit. He moves, he wiggles around a lot. I'm trying not to fire too many of our shots off, because then our guns stall out. And then we're boned. Where'd he go? What the hell is happening around? Just get in front of my ship! There we go. Now I know where the front is. Now your days are numbered. Oh my god. It feels like- okay, so our ship is- is somewhat helping us from the flame, but it's not keeping us alive. That part sucks balls, but... I mean, we do fly- let's look at that. We just get out of there damn near instantly. We're just across the map in a second. So beautiful! God, I love how fast this thing is. It makes you feel like such an advanced species has been rocking this. Just land. The bubble shield has let me down completely. I now have I distrust in the bubble shield. Before I almost died with it. God, that's cool. I guess we'll just fly up a little bit more and then hit these guys with the nuke. Show you what that's like because it's probably the best part. You know what? On a side note, that'd be the most ballerous way. Ooh, perfect. To kill a rock elemental. Because um, I don't think we're gonna be able to really do it with our with our little laser guns. It would take it would take for flipping ever. I should. We gotta get right above them. You wanna be right above the sucker once you unleash hell. Up. It's like if you guys ever seen Independence Day, when the ships just line up right above their target, and then the bottom opens up and this giant laser comes out, and then just a giant energy blast. I've I've completely ruined my shot. And then a giant energy blast comes out of the bottom. And just basically nukes wherever they're aiming. I'm so watching Independence Day after this. That just sounds like a great idea. All right, it's go time, baby. Like first the laser goes down, then the bottom opens up. Open up, open up. Does the shield just come out? Or nope, there it is. Now it's opening. How sick is that? The blue hatch just opened, and now we're about to bring the fire. That should be right on him. Golly, I hope it is. I want to keep that up in case it shows that we killed him. Like, it's just lining up the nuke. It takes a second to charge. Understandable. It's dropping an immense amount of energy right now. Come on. Kick his ass. You can do it. Oh, the intensity. There he goes. Oh, it's a horrible miss. Good God. I had no idea where my ass was aimed. Either way, it will be impressive. Damn, we are way the hell. Look at that. Just blows the hell up out of the whole vicinity. If it would have been a little more targeted, then they, okay, you know what? we're gonna fly down and we're gonna get we're gonna get nice and up close. This guy, I'm not missing the next one. I feel like that's right above him. Like that's gotta be pretty damn close. Look at that. That it's it's so freaking close that I mean it's gotta be good. God, look how detailed this ship is though. So freaking pretty. So alien too. There's definitely an evil species. An alien evil species at work around here. Energy blast building up in the center. Whoa, look at those carnos over there. No doubt dating. Oh, a third wheel. Awkward. Get ready. Shit's about to- I think we're gonna try to fly away really fast when I drop it. Fly, you fool! You can't move! Oh my god, that's why I was trying to get out of there. Well, we sure as hell took care of Becky. Are you just a regular old boulder? No, ha ha, you are dead. Suck it. <laughs> So at what cost? And we definitely shouldn't get that close. I feel like I could have killed him with the nuke without even being close if I would have just aimed it better. So it is an awesome device. This thing just got too close. I blame this entirely. Meat just came off. I don't know if I'd eat that. I'm totally gonna go wild animal hunting right now. This is the perfect creature to hunt. Giant ass mogwai. Get out of my way, damn it! I gotta get to my ship. Oh my gosh, the only thing I was worried about was getting crowded. There we go. Turn that off. Look at that big ass pile of fluff. This is why aliens don't talk to us, man. Because we're too fun to shoot at. Like, make them scatter. That's right, make the whole herd move. Yeah, get moving, you filthy buggers. <laughs> Your giant ass fleas and everything. It will, in fact, be hard to. Oh, no, crap. It's going to be impossible to get them. Well, damn it, I can't even move once the nuke has been initiated. The, the ship just goes into overlock mode. Oh, God, I'll never get over it. The bottom opens up like that. Okay, well, those snakes are screwed. That much is certain. Take that, snakes. In other news, I may have just destroyed the ecosystem with giant fur balls. Well, if one of them would just be so kind as to run under my ship right now, then we'd be wrecking these fools. Oh, well, you really gotta be able to move. There we go. Yeah, we can get out of there. If you're far enough away, you can bounce. Turn back around, see the bomb drop. You know, these guys are just too fast for that. It's just not gonna work out. I wonder how much damage this does. It's like it doesn't do a lot at all. 
You know what? They'd be showing some serious. Yeah, you can't just spray and pray one of these things and it not die. Like, I don't care how. They are level 50. But I mean, we are also an advanced alien species with some sort of green shit coming out of our guns. Going down, Derpeg. I know what you did to those kids. <laughs> it's the one on the left. I'm not giving. I have to. I have to at least kill one of these things, or my whole Jerboa hunting thing just went to crap. Oh come on! And they're so peaceful too. They're not even like attacking us. That's the worst part. It's the worst part of it all. If I could just somehow manage to get him underneath my nuke, life would be so grand. Still, well, we got something. Freaking vulture! Get out of the way! Oh my god, look at all these innocent bystanders dying because you can't take responsibility. Holy crap, I've activated the nuke way too close. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Oh, yes! Yes, I thought I thought I did. I was just landing. Oh, and he's stuck. Stuck like a turd that doesn't want to come out all the way. Damn it, he got loose! Come on, man. Oh, right, well, there is some damage indication on there, so this thing does at least do some damage, I assume. At level 50, that thing might have about 6,000 health. So, this actually isn't a stupid OP thing to have in your world. Like, if you're worried about someone getting a hold of it, spawning it in, and then just kind of ruining the game for everybody. Yeah, this thing, honestly, the main way someone could do damage to your world, which would just be hilarious, though, is just to um, spray or just to drop that nuke on your base. But it'd be hard to maneuver. Alright, alright, you bastard. This freaking vulture's messing with my ship. It's just like in War of the Worlds. Oh my god, you dirtbags. Get out of here. I think that's above him enough. Initiate the nuke! There we go. Oh, you're done for now, sister. No! Get back in your spot! Damn it, I hate these things. They're, they just make life so hard for everybody. Alright, the alien nuke hath been pooped. It hasn't, though. Come on. Beam's getting stronger. It's about to drop. I wish I had this thing timed. Saved myself so much time just knowing when it's coming out. Any second. I always think it's gonna come out, and it doesn't come out. There we go, finally. Uh, you're screwed, my friend. I think I'm at a safe distance. Oh, it's so much farther from him than I thought. Holy shit! Ha uh ha, -huh, he flew higher than I did. <laughs> By the laws of life, I win that battle. Oh, look, my ship. As far as dragons go, there's no way this thing. No, I've been through this already! But it's just because I couldn't hit him. That was the problem here. You know, this ship just really isn't OP at all. It actually gets along with the game perfectly. Doesn't really ruin it much unless, like... Yeah, these big Jerboas might do more damage to the ecosystem than I do, in fact. That's that's probably a thing for sure. Their poop alone stops rivers. All right, dragon. You want a beef? This is what it would come down to. This is how I hope I die in real life, though, to be honest, guys. I want to be in an alien spaceship fighting with a giant dragon. But I want to take at least, like, three with me also. Yeah. That's the best way to go. Right, we are not doing any of that. Anything in this matter. Hang on, what happens if we get upside down? And then we fire our nuke. That way, huh? Then what? Oh, shit. It's coming at your face. Hang on, that's going to hit the wall. Oh, damn it. Okay, that was, that's kind of, that was retardedly stupid. I thought it was going higher. I realized our ass was aimed right there. The second that thing lets off, we're out of here, homie. The second that thing lets off, we are flying the shiz out of here. We are burning in lava. The nuke's gonna drop and we need to bounce. We have like five milliseconds to get out of here. Yes, hit me higher. Perfect. Perfect, hit me back farther. Run, Johnny! Oh, it's not gonna work out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That pretty much all I coming. Son of a bitch. What am I in? Time to answer the question on everybody's minds here. The most important thing before ending this video, can Harambe survive a nuclear blast from an alien spaceship? Because if he can and we still manage to kill his ass, then we are terrible people. For those of you who don't know, Harambe is an actual gorilla in the, um, the Ark. What? The Ark Comes Alive mod. I had to go look it up really quick. Just, just spaced out like crazy. Alright, so those bastards right down there. I'd like to survive this as well. I need to get better at aiming at what's right beneath me. If we could have a camera angle that's just right beneath us, that would be beautiful. Everything I'm saying is irrelevant though, because this monkey's about to start moving around. Alright, little buddy. I need you to hold still. A kid fell in your enclosure and we need to get him out. But first, we need to drop you. 
So okay if a kid dies too. I think we all I think we all kind of expect Damn it, monkey stay wait, where'd he go? Okay, come on, buddy. You should get one last little wiggle or something. It shouldn't be such a final decision. Since when is dropping a nuke so serious? That might be close to him though. Oh come on, get out of the corner, buddy. This is so terrible because he's so clearly not playing with the kid in his enclosure and we're still gonna drop a nuke on him. I mean so he's so clearly not violent towards him. There we go. Because he definitely is playing with that little bastard. <laughs> Here it comes! Oh man, is he close enough? I feel like it's closer to us now. Yep, kind of figured that much. Damn it, did we at least get him? Harambe, you dirty bitch! Nope, that was disrespectful. But you did hide in the corner. Holy crap, this monkey is pissed. All right, there we go. If you just stay beneath us, all PO'd and everything, then we are chilling. Stay with you, dragon. You wanna get on this ish? Some of this hot fire? This one, I'm just gonna kamikaze. I don't even care about the ship anymore. I just need to know if it can kill him. That's all I need to know out of life. Where did he go? I need a personal guarantee that you're gonna stay by me for this, man, when I kamikaze. Uh, we've opened up. A shield must hold long enough. We're about to take this dragon and see, oh, you're all right above you, sucker. Oh, you are about to get nuked out the ass. We are too, but that is okay. As long as all three of these things die, then we're all good here. They have no idea what they're freaking biting up on, man. It's a nuclear device. A warhead. Oh, shit. No! I'll stay right under it. Stay right under it, you turd. Oh, my God. Yeah, you better get right under it. There we go. Get right... Yeah, right in there. All right. So, it looks like everything died as it should have been. In order for that to be a proper nuclear weapon or considered classified in that same category, it had to be able to just wipe out everything there. The Lord everything all right so yeah there's the freaking ufo mod one of the sickest freaking mods ever it's so beautiful and like just so perfect and creative and just like it's just so distinct how shiny the ship is and the lights and just it looks like something straight out of the movie the landing gear is insane the weaponry is just awesome the attacks the attack strategy of the weapons like the the sitting still before the new drops all of it but, um, but yeah, if you guys want to download the mod, make sure to check the description below. If you had a good time watching, smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!